checkout lines, almost impossible to miss unless you leave the store without buying something. Regardless of how much skin is in this year, some say these bathing beauties aren't suitable for the naked eye. And we started attempting to call the local Kroger corporate office starting yesterday. They responded today. They said, we have no comment on this matter at this time. Joe and Donna, back to you. All right, thank you very much, Anna Marie Hart. And it was cold outside today. But Dave says there will be some more sunshine, at least for part of the weekend, as we take a look now from Chopper 5 over our city. Dave will have a look at his seven-day forecast next. Hey, have you ever gotten behind somebody in the express line, somebody who has too many items? Well, for some folks, that can turn into checkout line rage. I'm Ben Watson, and that story is coming your way next. <laughs> and we'll take you to Salt Lake City for all the excitement and the heartbreak. Plus, we'll have the latest on the murder of American journalist Daniel Pearl. This week on Feel Good February, become part of the mystery and search for the clues. Unsolved murders are always open. Mystery Movie Weekends on Pax, featuring three films from best-selling mystery writer Mary Higgins Clark. It's because I happen to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Leading up to the world premiere movie, You Belong to Me. That is a connection. It'll keep you guessing till the very end. Injury. Danger. Mystery. Stay where you are. Feel Good February Mystery Movie Weekends on Pax TV. It's Watson's Warehouse Clearance Sale. Pool tables as low as $7.99. Floor bottles, five, only $12.99. Scratch and dent tanning beds, $8.88. Close out 24-foot pools, $12.99 installed. Gas logs. That Watch as the Memphis Grizzlies face the L.A. Clippers Monday night at 7 on PAX 50. We're your home for live local NBA basketball. PAX 50. You set your goal. Now you need money to make it happen. Get the money to pay for college in the Army National Guard. Visit us at www.1800goguard.com. In after-school programs, your kids will find the hero inside themselves. Let us know you want after-school programs in your area. Call 1-800-USA-LEARN. of the jungle, king of the apes, father of boy. He knows what it takes to be a dad. You go for a ride, you take a swim, you hang out. All it takes is time. Hey, it doesn't take a hero, but it takes a man to be a dad. I'm gonna bite it. Don't do it, man. I'm going to the top. I'm to the top. Walmart FLW Outdoors Saturdays on PAX TV. America's best fishermen compete for $1 million. Plus, viewers will have a chance to compete for up to $7 million in the Conseco Challenge. Walmart FLW Outdoors Saturdays on PAX TV. Friday, wacky TV celebrities battle wits. You go, go. A celebrity edition of The Weakest Link, Friday on... Well, with that, a photographer broke the news to 16-year-old Sarah Hughes that she had won the gold last night in figure skating. It's just one of many special Olympic moments in this 2002 Olympic year. And let's go live now out to Salt Lake City and NBC's Michael Williams for the latest. Michael? Hello, Joe. That's right. American Sarah Hughes, all of 16 years old, really an afterthought going into last night's ladies figure skating program and today she is an Olympic leading lady but of course the applause as you know by now was also mixed with some growls of protest from the Russian bear the thrill of unexpected victory 16 year old Sarah Hughes soared where others fell Michelle Kwan tumbled to bronze Russia's Irina Slutskaya to silver I just went out and I just gave it everything I had. It's something that I've never done before and it was a great feeling. I've never felt that I've skated better in my whole life. But Russian team officials, smarting from the pair's figure skating controversy and perceived bias against its athletes, promptly appealed Friday saying Slutskaya deserves a gold medal as well. 
Once Canadians, Jamie Saleh and David Peltier collected their gold alongside the Russians, many said such a demand was only a matter of time. I think that was probably one of the issues that people were concerned about was that it was going to set a precedent. Um, I would just like to say that I thought clearly last night Sarah's performance was the best. Russian President Vladimir Putin says North American athletes have a clear advantage at the Olympics, but indicated Russia will not boycott the rest of the games as threatened on Thursday. That our country wants to have clean sports and not subjective judgment. The tension will add even more spice to the semifinal men's hockey game, a rematch of this, the earlier U.S.-Russia face-off that ended in a tie. Other athletes, meanwhile, are navigating more than politics here. The four-man bobsled begins today. American Todd Hayes, seen here in practice, leads a group that hopes to be in medal contention. Now some follow-up notes since we taped our report for you. The U.S.-Russia game is underway. The winner will play Canada for gold on Sunday. And this afternoon, the International Skating Union is saying forget about it. There will be no second gold medal for Russia's Irina Slutskaya. So they're effectively putting the lid on that, although it won't do anything necessarily to curb the Russian frustrations here. Reporting live. In Salt Lake City, I'm Michael Williams. Now back to you, Joe. All right, thank you very much, Michael. Now, one quick question. How many medals have the Russian athletes won at these Winter Games? 14 of them so far. That's compared to 30 for Team USA, 33 for Germany. And many think what we're seeing here is frustration. Keep in mind that as part of the old Soviet Union, they were part of a dominant winter sports team at the Olympics, and those days are long past. So we may, some observers say, be seeing some of that in the statements this week. Very good. Thank you much. Michael Williams reporting for us for the last couple of weeks out in Salt Lake City. We appreciate all your reports. Well, Dave's here now with weather and uh, walked outside today and noticeably colder than what we've gotten used to. Felt like Winter Olympics yeah. here today. <laughs> yeah, just none of that stuff on the ground that yeah. they have falling out there. Wait till you see the seven-day forecast. Let's take a look first of all at our uh, Pinpoint Storm Track 5. You can see there's no precipitation falling out there and none expected actually tonight. Actually, there were some sprinkles this morning. The clouds just hung in for several hours and a few sprinkles were reported here and there. Even a couple of reports in the area of a snowflake or two. But again, nothing very important. Here's the way things look in the neighborhood network right now. 42 degrees in Blytheville, Arkansas. The high was 44. The low this morning, 35 degrees. Here in Midtown, we've been bouncing around the last hour, but 40 degrees now. 43 the high for the day, 36 the low. We have light winds out of the west-northwest. The uh, relative humidity at 51%. The barometer 30.19. And as you see, no rain in our gauge, nor in the one in Blytheville that we saw a minute ago. The satrad shows the back edge of the cloudiness as it is moving on out of here during the afternoon. We ended up really with a beautiful conclusion to the afternoon with plenty of sunshine and blue skies. The future cast says we should keep clear to mostly clear skies overnight tonight. Now what that means is with light winds and clear skies, with the cold air in here, that's going to let any heat that was built up by that afternoon sunshine go right back into space. So we're going to have a cold night. There is a little patch of cloudiness over Missouri. This is for 3 o'clock in the morning. Watch as we get into mid-morning, and you see that that may affect part of the area, but it will not last as long as the clouds did today, I don't believe. They will just go away. Most of the area will be partly sunny to mostly sunny as the day goes on. Temperatures, well, now those are going to be on the cold side tonight. I'm looking for mid-20s across the north, around 30 to the south. Everyone will be very close to freezing, like Tupelo, at freezing, or below in the mid-south tonight. In the city, we should drop to 30 degrees, two below the freezing mark, with clear skies, light and variable winds, but a nice recovery tomorrow because of south winds at 8 miles per hour, up to 58 degrees. In the city, skies should be mostly sunny. Here's the seven-day forecast on Sunday. There's a chance of a shower Sunday night. Most of the day Sunday, though, looking very good. Monday, cooler, very cold. Tuesday and Wednesday. Friday is cold with a chance of rain or snow. Depends on the exact temperatures on Friday as to what might happen. We'll keep an eye for the next six days on that for you. All right. Thank you, Dave. A Massachusetts woman, woman rather, went to court today charged in what some are calling supermarket checkout rage. Karen Morgan is charged with assault and battery. Police say she got into a physical fight with a woman who checked out with 13 items in the express lane meant for 12 items or less. She'll be back in court next month. 
Action News 5's Ben Watson talked to some mid-southerners about checkout rage. As you can see, this lane is for shoppers with six items or less, but someone's always trying to get around it. I just, if they let you through, uh, it's the speed, the less aggravation. But what's less aggravation for one shopper can cause more aggravation for others in line. Just hollering, cussing, talking bad to the person, you know, making gestures toward them, you know, and that could lead to other stuff. Cashiers see it all the time. Yes, I have seen fights happen. I have seen words being exchanged. Um, they can get very, very upset. Now it's called checkout counter rage. And when some shoppers try to go through the line with more than the specified number of items, other shoppers can get very emotional about it. Yes, cheating. Yeah. Yeah. But maybe not everyone is cheating. Cashiers say some folks just don't pay enough attention. So remember the rules, and the next time you see Express Lane signs, check your shopping cart and make sure you're supposed to be in it. Ben Watson, Action News 5. Thank you, Ben. And Ben asked the cashiers he talked with today who violates the Express Line rules the most. He said they said women get in the wrong line much more often than men. And now to the war on terrorism. Across the country, politicians and journalists alike are demanding that Pakistan track down Wall Street Journal writer Daniel Pearl's killers. Earlier today, Secretary of State Colin Powell said the U.S. wants to know more about how and when Pearl died. Pearl's death was announced after video evidence showed up at the U.S. Embassy in Pakistan. Pearl was kidnapped last month while working on a story. The Army confirmed today that a helicopter that crashed into the sea in the Philippines had Fort Campbell soldiers aboard. The search is on in the Philippines, and so far, three bodies have been found. Eight of the soldiers belong to the 160th Special Operations Division. The others were Air Force pararescue jumpers. The Army says it does not look right now as though enemy fire brought the chopper down. All right, Donna, we're just about set with the final four of the men's portion in the Kroger St. Jude Tennis Tournament. We'll show you how half the bracket makes out, plus an update on the women's tournament when we take you to the Racket Club, next in sports. Friday. Find out why your next trip to the hospital would cost you your life. Encounters with the unexplained. Friday at 9, 8 central on PAX TV. There are more than one million pornographic websites on the Internet. Now, from America's favorite family-friendly network comes KidSafe Internet access with Paxway. Paxway's filter technology blocks virtually 100% of all offensive material, so it never gets to your computer or your kids. Paxway blocks everything that it says it blocks. You know your kids are safe with Paxway. Call now and experience the family-friendly Internet with Paxway. Paxway Internet, kids safe and parent approved. I'm gonna bite it. Don't do it, man. I'm going to the top. I'm going to the top. Walmart FLW Outdoors Saturdays on PAX TV. America's best fishermen compete for $1 million. Plus, viewers will have a chance to compete for up to $7 million at the Conseco Challenge. Walmart FLW Outdoors Saturdays on PAX TV. Hey, we tried our. Don't tell me to calm down. I hate that. Don't act like animals. You're in public. I'm. I will knock you into next week. Stop it. No, I'm not gonna stop it. That's it. We are leaving I feel like right now. now. We are leaving right now. Get up. Susanna, I said no. I said no. Okay. This February, Pax TV wants you to with all new episodes of your favorite shows, plus world premiere events and Oscar-winning movies. All the things that make you feel good, all February. As it has since our nation's birth, the Army National Guard stands ready to defend America. We are sworn to protect American soil, to support the American people. We combine our strength with the courageous men and women who serve as our firefighters, emergency medical specialists, our police officers, our doctors, and our fellow soldiers. 
Together, we are a symbol of America's resiliency and strength. The coming days will bring awesome responsibilities, but the Army National Guard will rise to the occasion. Millions of young Americans have faced equally daunting challenges in the past and succeeded. The people are the spirit of America. Watch as the Memphis Grizzlies face the L.A. Clippers Monday night at 7 on PAX 50. We're your home for live local NBA basketball. PAX 50. 64 of the best men's and women's tennis pros open play in Memphis Monday in the Kroger St. Jude Tennis Tournament at the Racquet Club. Now, less than a dozen left. Action News 5's Dave Sierra live in East Memphis with the latest on all the tournament happenings. Dave? Well, Jarvis, we've reached the quarterfinals for the men. The semifinals for the women, and just uh, minutes ago here at Stadium Court, it was the U.S.'s Lisa Raymond who defeated Japan's Ai Sugiyami 6-3, or 6-2 and 6-1 easily. Let's check out the action from the men earlier in the day. A great one between the U.S.'s Jan Michael Gamble, who's currently ranked 23rd in the world. He wins the first set over uh, Rainer Shuttler from Germany, 6-3. But Shuttler is going to come back in the second set. With some great rallies in this match and a vicious backhand right here by Shuttler to win the second set. It goes all the way down to a third set tiebreak. You're watching match point. That is an ace by Jan Michael Gamble, who wins it 6-3, 4-6, and 7-6. I was hitting the ball well and hard, I think. No, there's nothing, nothing, I was doing that bad, but I just started hitting passing shots like a, like a madman and running down all my shots. It was tough, you know, and I had to fight hard. Third match of the day, it's number one seed Tommy Haas going against former Harvard student James Blake. Haas has to take an injury timeout halfway through this match, and clearly that bothered him throughout as the powerful young man Blake wins it easily. 6-3 and 6-1, he moves on to the semifinals. Haas leaves Memphis disappointed. It's just, uh, you know, once you start thinking about these things and with your arm and your opponent is playing well, it's really tough to get for, for you to get back into the game, and that's why, you know, I guess couldn't really perform the way I won. All right, and earlier in the day, Memphis favorite Todd Martin is defeated by Xavier Malie, 7-6, 3-6, and 7-5. That gets you up to speed on what's happening here at the Racquet Club. Dave Sierra reporting live. Jarvis, back to you. All right, Dave, look forward to those, those matches tonight after the Olympics. The Memphis Grizzlies 10-day experiment with former Tiger star Elliot Perry is over. The Grizzlies have decided not to renew Perry for another 10-day trial. Perry, a 10-year NBA veteran, was signed as a backup point guard to help the injury-depleted team. He averaged five and a half points, three and a half assists, two rebounds, and a steal and a half in the two games he did play in. Perry said the chance to play for his hometown team was the most rewarding 10 days of his career. The Grizzlies play the L.A. Clippers Monday at the Pyramid. It was nice seeing Elliot Perry in a Grizzlies uniform. That's it for sports. We'll be right back. Looking for a deal? It's Watson's annual warehouse clearance sale. Save on scratch and dent floor models. <laughs> Some items below cost. Slate pool tables as low as $7.99. Floor model spa is only $12.99. 90 days, same as cash. Save on gas logs. Great prices on foosball and air hockey. Scratch and dent tanning beds, $8.88. Close out 24-foot pools, $12.99 installed. That's Watson's. This week on Feel Good February, become part of the mystery. Search for the clues. Unsolved murders are always open. Mystery Movie Weekends on PAX, featuring three films from best-selling mystery writer Mary Higgins Clark. It's because I happen to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Leading up to the world premiere movie, You Belong to Me. That is a connection. It'll keep you guessing till the very end. Intrigue. Danger. Mystery. Stay where you are. Feel Good February Mystery Movie Weekends on PAX TV. I'm gonna bite it. Don't do it, man. I'm going to the top. I'm going to the top. Walmart FLW Outdoors Saturdays on PAX TV. America's best fishermen compete for $1 million. Plus, viewers will have a chance to compete for up to $7 million at the Conseco Challenge. Walmart FLW Outdoors Saturdays on PAX TV. This February, PAX TV wants you to... With all new episodes of your favorite shows, plus world premiere events and Oscar-winning movies. All the things that make you feel good. 
all February. Nearly 100,000 people in this country need one. More than 6,000 people will die waiting for one. The good news, 25,000 people will survive because they received one. Organ donations, the gift of life. I never realized the importance of becoming an organ donor until my own daughter received a liver transplant. Thanks to the heroic action of an organ donor, my daughter is a healthy, vibrant woman today. Medical advances make it possible to transplant almost every organ in our body and to save lives. These people are organ transplant survivors because someone exercised their right to become an organ donor. Exercise your right as an organ donor today. Don't wait and leave this important decision for others to make. Sign up as an organ donor today and inform your family of your wish to give the gift of life. Organ donation. It's your right. It's your responsibility. High today was only 45 tomorrow, 58, then 64 on Sunday. Slight chance of showers early Monday. Better chance of precipitation next Friday, a week from today. All right, thank you, Dave, and thank you for watching. We hope you'll join us a little later on tonight around 10.30 for the late news. After the Olympics. See you then. You're watching PAX TV. Share the wonder. Tomorrow on the PAX Big Event, a woman who witnessed a murder is stalked by a killer. For Mary Higgins Clark, pretend you don't see her. Tomorrow at 9, 8 central. Here are the eight TV hosts who will take part in tonight's show. Watch my Mid-South Home. For your home, for your lawn, for your life. With Jenny Rutledge on Saturday mornings at 6.30. On WMC TV 5 and 9 on PAX TV. Two great chances to see one great show. Wow, that was fast. Sweetie, your ride's here. When the Edmonds upgraded to Bell South Fast Access DSL, they knew life would change. Yeah, I'm online. The lightning speed lets them take everything they do to the next level. Bye, honey. Good luck at the science fair. So Mom is finally creating a digital photo album. I can't believe you let me go like that. My hair looks ridiculous. How's it going, hon? While Dad transforms the house, room by room. Oh. Now they all have a high-speed internet connection that helps them do better. Can I get in here real quick? Hold on a second. No, no, talk, talk, talk. It doesn't tie up their phone line, and it costs just 45 bucks a month. That's what I thought. Genius. They even got a free month for ordering. How smart am I for getting DSL? Oh, yeah. Mike is also doing a little better in school. Can I help you, please? Visit FastAccess.com and order Bell South Fast Access DSL for your family. Connect and create something. Bell South. Choosing the right Medicare supplement plan is important, but it can be confusing. That's why we called this toll-free number and received this guide to health insurance for people with Medicare absolutely free. Making the right choice for our Medicare supplement insurance policy was a lot easier after reading this guide. We learned how Medicare supplement policies give you the freedom to choose the doctors and hospitals you want. And how almost all of your Part B processed claims can be filed automatically. This free guide could help answer your questions about Medicare supplement insurance. I know it helped us make the right choice. Call for your free Medicare supplement guide today. You'll be glad you did. Call today. This informative guide to health insurance for people with Medicare is available absolutely free from United American Insurance Company. To receive this free guide plus information about Medicare supplemental policies that can never be canceled, call United American today at 1-800-937-7605. Sunday, flea collars for humans? Scratch that idea. And babysitting has never been like this before. Candid Camera, Sunday at 7, 6 Central on PAX TV. Share the wonder. Sunday, these talented entertainers are just one week away from the final round. Go backstage as they get ready for the performance of a lifetime on a special Ed McMahon's Next Big Star. Sunday at 6, 5 Central on Welcome back to the Week of Think. Round two, team. Tomorrow, when Doc runs into a sexy surgeon, the romantic sparks fly. But will she make his heart go achy breaky? Doc, tomorrow at 8, 7 Central.
first step, a first word, and of course, a first french fry. Arthritis can change the way you perceive yourself, if you let it. The trick is, don't let it. Move over, Aviv. This is Tylenol Arthritis Pain. A different Tylenol. Just two capless in the morning have the strength to last all day. With safety that can't be beat. Arthritis pain? Don't we have better things to do? It's private stuff that you have to deal with. Now there's vitamin enriched Vagisil cream with skin soothing vitamins E, A, and D. Vagisil stops itching fast as it soothes itchy, irritated skin with vitamins, even urine irritated skin. And with Vagisil, the itch relief lasts hours. Vitamin enriched Vagisil cream. Vagisil, a better understanding of better intimate care. Someday on the PAX Big Event, what if you found the man of your dreams and then discovered he was a killer? We have a series of murders that we're stretching to connect. Will Susan Chandler unmask him? Stay where you are. Or will she become the next victim? From Mary Higgins Clark, the undisputed queen of suspense, comes a tale of intrigue and mystery. Leslie and Down. <laughs> you belong to me. Sunday at 9, 8 central on the PAX Big Event. Brought to you by McDonald's. We love to see you smile. With a 27-year track record of quality education, Thrift Haven Baptist Academy offers small class sizes, experienced, dedicated faculty, Christian values, and a loving and caring environment. Thrift Haven is accredited, offers fully equipped facilities, and is very affordable. Call Thrift Haven Baptist Academy today for information at 386-5306. That's 386-5306. Or visit our website at www.thrifthaven.org.